Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to save time and money by changing your own spark plugs in your 2.2 Ecotech engine. Alright, so one of the first things we're going to do is get our throttle cable out of the way. Get it loose so we can move around it. And this is our coil. What we're going to do is very carefully take a screwdriver, get up under this little latch, take it off. Now the next thing to do Take our 10 millimeter socket, take this cover off. Another thing we're going to do, very carefully and easily, pull this cover up. Now you can see this cover has a cool attached to it of all of our spark plug boots. Now one thing you want to make sure of when you do this is make sure this is clean before you take the spark plugs out because you don't want any trash or anything falling in there while you're pulling the plugs out. So we're going to take a shop vac and clean it out real quick. All right, now we either take our 16 millimeter or 5 8 socket or your plug socket. Now, if you don't have a plug socket and you just got deep weld, we can use a magnet to get the spark plugs out. Now, sometimes like this, we bought this car at 180,000 miles. Not sure how long these have been in there. So they're a little seized. We're gonna do break them all loose to get them out of there. Now, usually with spark plugs, you usually try to get them hand tight and three quarters of a turn is usually all you need. Some people go way too much, or probably in this case, they haven't been changed in who knows how long. Now usually if you got a spark plug socket, it'll have the rubber on the inside that'll grab your plugs. And it'll make this a little easier. But you can also do it this way. Just make sure they're all the way loose and out. get one of these magnets handy. Pull it right on out. Now these don't look too, too old, but you can tell they're kind of burnt and worn out. They look like they're burning good. 
or decent at least. I don't see any kind of signs of bad oil or rings or anything, so we're good there. Now if you're going with a plug you have to gap, make sure you gap them just right before you put them in. But in our case, we're using these E337s. Now I run E3s and basically just about everything I have. Fuel injection and carbureted. Small block to big block, Pontiacs, put them in Mopars. They work great. And you don't have to gap them. Now this is where a rubber end socket comes in handy for plugs. Or we can work with it. Sometimes you can put something sticky on the inside of your socket and it'll hold on to the plug for you while you do this. But what we'll do is we'll just get it Use a socket, set it in there straight, screw it down. Now if you're running a plug you have to gap, probably shouldn't just drop them in like that because it might mess up your gap a little bit. These have the cage design. So in theory they fire all the way through the cylinder. We're getting them snug in there. We get them snug and go back and go about three quarters of a turn. Or half a turn. Now we're just going to reverse the process. Put all this back on. Some people take this bracket out of the way or bend it. Whatever way works for you. Want to make sure that gets down on the plugs real good. Now what we're going to do is just make sure everything's tightened back down where it belongs. Make sure they're good and snug. Do not over tighten them because you don't want to crack that plastic. What I do to help keep from over tightening is I grab up here. That way I don't put too much on it. Good. Let's put this back. And we'll plug our cool back in. And now we'll start it and see how it sounds. And there we have it. We changed our plugs. Did that all in real time. Any of y'all can do it. 
save you time and money doing it on your own. I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe. Keep a watch out for more content. Thanks.